Back to the controversy for Muslim students between the, those students and the president of SDSU. Yeah, 10 News reporter Jared Aarons is live on campus. What do the students want, Jared? Well, they want a complete condemnation of a poster, this poster that showed up on campus last month. It actually names seven students and says that they have allied themselves with Palestinian terrorists. And they say that President Hirschman has now 48 hours to deliver that condemnation or else. All of this came to a head last week when students protested on campus. They even surrounded a police car on Friday that President Hirschman was trying to leave campus in. This morning's meeting lasted more than two hours between the students named on that poster and also President Hirschman and some of his administrators. They said the first hour they were able to express some of their concerns and explain to the president why they thought that poster was so hateful. In the second hour they worked to come to some kind of agreement on a way to move forward, but they said they didn't come to a resolution at all today. And to the students, they don't understand why this has been so hard for the president to say. Now after having protests, now after having like hours of conversations with the administration, why is it so hard for you to make a statement in the affirmative that your students aren't terrorists? Literally that one line would solve all of this. Also today on campus was the National Action Network and the Council on American Islamic Relations. Representatives from both groups were not allowed into the meeting. The president only wanted the students in there, but they said they are joining with the students and they will fight to bring justice to SDSU. They said they share that same 48 hour timeline for the president and say that they have a plan for what to do if he doesn't issue that statement on Wednesday. Live at SDSU, Jared Aarons, 10 News.